Global warming. It will kill us all. Our friends, our relatives, our wives, our children. Oh, and most distressingly of all, ourselves. It will bring forth the demise of civilization as we know it, and the ultimate destruction of mankind. Death, destruction, doom. So, what can we do about it? Make the overly dramatic claims first? Ask questions later. We've made the overly dramatic claims. It's time to ask the questions. Clive Bishop investigates global warming. Now, let's find out what global warming actually is. We asked the strikingly handsome Professor David Boffin to fill us in. Hello, Professor Boffin, you handsome devil. And hello to you, Clive. And welcome to my Hall of Science. Yes, it's very sciencey. I was wondering, Professor, can you tell us what global warming really is? Why, yes. Yes, I can. Uh, would you? What? Now? Yes, now. We didn't bring a film crew down to watch you drink tea. Are you sure? I have some cracking tea-based fairies. Ah. No? Very well, then. Global warming, global warming. You see, the thing about global warming is, would you like a Kit Kat? Now look here, do you actually know anything about global warming whatsoever? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Global warming is this thing that's warming up the earth and apparently will have devastating consequences on the weather. Ironically enough, this extra warmth will plunge Britain into a new ice age. <laughs> now that's more like it. Armed with a vague idea of what global warming is, I flew all the way to the far-flung village of Glasgow in Scotland for no apparent reason to ask you, the public, how you think global warming's all-consuming rampage will affect your simple, insignificant lives. It's going to make Scotland colder. So I need to move somewhere warm. Well, this is a good problem. People say, well, it's not going to affect me, so don't worry about it, but you've got to think about your children. I know that at the moment we're not doing very well and the Arctic is melting. I understand it's attributed to um, the burning of fossil fuels and getting, and there's an enormous ozone hole developing over the Antarctic that's of great concern to us in New Zealand. Warm beer, all this global warming. Warm beer, it's a bad thing. There you have it. Shocking testimony from the streets of Glasgow. But wait, let's not judge global warming until we see the entire picture. Lord Matthews of Cherbury has a great deal to say on the matter. Well, obviously, as a member of the upper classes, I stand to gain tremendously from global warming. With my superior intellect and my vast knowledge of the inner workings and intricacies of the stock market, I have invested all my money in canoes. Check it. Global warming will cause the Earth's polar ice caps to melt, causing sea levels to rise. With Britain engulfed in water, cars will be a thing of the past, and the canoe, or kayak, will rule supreme, making me a huge pile of cash. And don't think you can steal my idea. I run the canoe racket in this town. As soon as I learnt that I wouldn't be making any money from this global catastrophe, I realised it was up to me, a lowly investigative journalist, to stop it. We tracked down global warming, or the greenhouse effect as he sometimes likes to be called, chasing him to his expansive ozone home, where we asked him a few questions.
Excuse me! Excuse me! Mr. Warming! I'm Clive Bishop from Clive Bishop Investigates. I'm sure you've heard of us. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your part in the scheme to wear down the ozone layer, causing the world to become slightly hotter. Mr. Warming, what have you got to say to people who claim that radiation that you're responsible for is giving thousands of our potential viewers skin cancer, rendering them dead? Mr. Warming! Mr. Warming! Global Warming wasn't playing ball. He refused to answer any of our questions and totally ignored our camera crew. I decided it was time to take drastic measures. Hey you! Your mum is so fat, she went to movies and sat next to everyone! What? Whoa, now let's have your attention. Maybe you'll be able to answer some of the incriminating questions I have for you. Eat radiation, sucker. Ah, you can fatally burn me to death with your fatal sun rays, but you'll never fatally burn the truth. And thus ended the career, and indeed the life, of Clive Bishop. But what have we learned? Global warming is something we all need to think about. We can't leave it up to one man. But if we stand together, we can make a difference. Thank you, Clive. Thank you.